Alright, this is Ryan Crum here with the uh, Community News in South Seattle. We're gonna just be out here interviewing people and we'll see how it goes. Now stop it. I'm direct with my man. Tell me your name. Uh, my name is Dewan Gamble. Yep, all star athlete over here at Render Beach High School. Come check him out. So, man, what's your favorite food to eat out here in Render Beach? My favorite food to eat out here would be the taco truck. Okay, okay, okay. My next question is, if you had a million dollars, what would you buy with it? A million dollars? I'll buy a house, I'll buy my mama a house, and I'll give back to all my friends and family. So, what do you think about our community? Like, how do you think we can make it better? How do you think we can make it better? By stopping the violence, putting down the guns and yeah. stuff like that. You know, keep this neighborhood safe. That's good, bro. Appreciate you. RC here, doing the community news, and we're here with... Zykayla. Okay. First question I'm going to ask you is, what's your food to eat around Rainier Beach? Fried chicken. Okay, okay. And if you had a million dollars, you spend however you wanted to. I would go on vacation. I would go far away from Seattle. So like where? Hawaii. To the beach. Okay. How do you think, what do you think would improve our community? If they supplied like more programs for the youth and did more like outreach things like this for the youth, it would be better. Cause I don't feel like the youth and our community so much involved as much as they used to be. It's more like here or there type of thing. That's from my point of view. Thank you, we appreciate that. See bro, we're, we're moving on up bro. It's RC here with Community News for the South Seattle neighborhood. And tonight we have Miriam. Yep. Okay, Miriam. What is your favorite food to eat around yeah. Miriam? Yeah. Oh, my favorite food. I do like the taco truck. The taco truck is really good. And yeah, I would say the taco truck and maybe Safeway. Yep. So, if you had a million dollars, what what exactly would you buy with you? A house for my family, for us to live in. That's it? Yeah. Just with a million dollars, that's it? Nothing else? And save it. Okay. All right. What do you think will help improve the Renner Beach community? Um, yeah. Oh I already know. I would probably say maybe try to make like a hangout spot for older adults and also kind of to give like positive outlets to younger kids so like us youth mm -hmm. and yeah just for a place for them to hang out because there's places for us but there's not places for them well thank you for your time freedom that what's good it's your boy rc doggy dog here with community news and today we have fatima mariama yep so our first question is what is your favorite food to eat around in your week jack and box uh, mine is Subway. I like Subway. So, if you two had a million dollars to spend however you wanted to, what would you buy? Um, I would take it and travel around the world. Give it to the poor. All of it? All of it? That's what's up. Last question is, what do you think could be done to improve your energy community? Get more art. I think we need more security around. Like, not like security, like people coming in, but like people in the community just looking out for each other, like trying to watch all of these things. Thank you guys for your time. All right, this is RC Doggy Dog here with the community news. And today we have... Allie. We have Allie. So our first question is, what is your favorite food to eat around the Rainer Beach neighborhood? Definitely Dre's. I'm vegetarian, so I'm sad I can't eat all the wings, but I definitely get waffles and the veggie sliders and the kale salad and all that. That's real good, that's real good. The next question is, if you had a million dollars to spend however you wanted to, how would you spend it? I would probably try to invest it in organizations I believed in, and I work for an organization, so that would probably take preference. Yeah. Okay, 
That's good. That's good. That's good. What do you think could be done to improve the renovation goal? I think there could be more affordable housing and preference to people who have lived here. I know I haven't lived here and I feel guilty being a part of that. Um, and maybe putting it in like land trusts so that it stays affordable regardless of if it changes ownership. And the youth, of course. <laughs> Thank you for all your right. time. Yes, we appreciate course. it. This is for all of you. This is. I did not know. Chance. What's good, everybody? It's your boy RC Doggy Dog, and we're here with the community news with a Z. And today, we have my man. Tomorrow. Um, yeah. My man Tamar here. So, tomorrow, what is your favorite food to eat around the Rainier Beach area? <laughs> You already know, bro. When I get together, sometimes during lunch, I'm not supposed to leave campus, but I do. I get to, I get to tell over there. The taco truck. Yeah. Because I get my burritos from the burrito truck. Yeah. The next question is, if you had a million dollars to spend however you wanted to, how would you spend it? If I had a million dollars, bro, I would open up like a pizza store right there where the SARS used to be. And shoot, I'll really be rubbing doing this. I won't even need the burrito truck no more. That's what's up. That sounds legal. Yeah, okay. Our final question is what do you think can be done to help improve the renovation chamber? Alright, if it was my choice, I'll put some of that million dollars into like maybe renovating the school or some areas around here and stuff. Because there's a lot of old buildings that we could be using. Um, so I'm gonna just renovate those and make it useful to the community. Thank you for your time, sir. So you're gonna ask me again, basically. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're here. It's the man with the master plan, RC. We're with the community news with a Z, and we got my man, Christian. Christian here. So, Christian, what is your favorite food to eat in the Rainier Beach community? Teriyaki. 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 Yeah. If you had a million dollars to spend, however you want, what would you buy? Give a portion of my family. Maybe donate a hard, large sum of it. Give whoever's left to myself. That's good. So, what do you think could be done to help improve the Rainier Beach community? I think more of this. If I could, if I could see a lot more of this, especially like I, I walk through here every every day when I go to after I get off work. You know what I'm saying? Like usually, you know, I see some folks chilling around. You know, I'll, I'll say hi or they'll say hi to me. You know, we'll have small talk and stuff. But like when y'all be doing this, this this is like real good, especially. Personally, I think in this spot particularly, yeah. you know what I mean? Like people, oh, it's a cool spot. Like you got some people going over there and hanging out right now. You know what I mean? Like that's a good thing. You now we could we could use more of that, especially in these times. You know what I mean? Anything else you want to add or say for the news, man? And just, just keep up the good fight. Uh, don't listen to Trump. <laughs> that's that's about all I got. We appreciate your time. Man. Right, man. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all doing all. We're here live and direct. RC Doggy Dog here with the community news with a Z. And today we have... Jesus. Yep. So you guys, what is your favorite food to eat around the Rainier Beach community? Tacos? Tacos? Tacos. Tacos are definitely good. Tacos are smacking. If y'all had a million dollars to spend however you wanted to, and you could buy anything you want, what would you buy? A car. Huh? A car. A car? What kind of car though? <laughs> You don't know? Like if you just had to guess, what kind of car would you buy? Lamborghini? Lamborghini? Yeah. I would probably help out the community with housing and stuff like that. That's real nice. That's real nice. Our last and final question is, what do you think could be done to help improve the Rainier Beach community? More community centers. More community centers? Okay, that's good. What about you? Um, like do some shirts and everything. Speak up. Like do some shirts and everything. Okay. That's a good idea. Well, anything else you guys want to say? Just to get thrown in the news? Say whatever you want. Shout some people out, man. Do what you do. Hey, it's my goal. Well, peace out. What's that? What's that? I'm not taking any chance. Okay, I did the same thing. That was a good catch. I know, I was trying to get all y'all look. Uh-huh.
pick half of those over there. It's your boy, she doggy dog here, and you know we're here with the uh, community news with a Z. <laughs> and um, you guys are just gonna, what's this called? Fishing at the beach. In the beach. Get it? Fishing at the beach. Fishing at the beach. That's nice. No, you got What's the object of the game? To get all the fish out the tree. Wait, don't we have time? Without, without the green or? So whoever gets the most is what? In 30 seconds. Why am I going to back you? Oh, you are smart! Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. Put it in the bowl! This is the Mapes Creek Creek walkway. Keep on coming. You see it got nice little trees and foliage. What's going on, y'all? How you doing, doing well. But because of all this foliage, it gets easy to hide litter up in here. And so it gets overlooked. Come on. And so then it ends up can you still hear me? Yeah. It ends up piling up like this. And nobody reaches out to get it. That's why up there. Come on, follow me. Keep up, cameraman. That's why we got corner greeters that do litter grabbing whenever we have a corner greeter. Mm -hmm. It's a part of what we do. Not only because we activate the space, go ahead and get a flick of that. Yeah, we did that. Is that right? Not only do we activate the space, but we also clean up. And so it's places like this, the Mapes Creek Walkway, that we got to keep clean. Because Dollar Tree ain't going to pick it up. Safeway ain't going to pick it up. Lake Washington Departments ain't going to pick it up. Brainerd Beach High School ain't going to pick it up. Metro ain't gonna do it, so I guess we gotta do it. And we take that with pride um, because we like to see our neighborhood beautified. Not because it needs to get beautiful, because it already is. You dig? Word up. <laughs>